Hi, my lovelies, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about affordable designer perfumes that every woman needs. These are really great on a lower price point in a designer suite of perfumes, but they are just great in terms of scent and performance. So if you're looking for these sort of perfumes, keep on watching. And if you're new, subscribe to this channel to know about perfumes and also luxury fashion. If this video is because I thought for myself at least, although I've got so many perfumes, I always want those that I don't really have to spend a lot on and I can reapply them chance throughout the day. I don't need to worry about them. They're not too expensive. I can always take them on holiday and with some of the perfumes that I've got, like on holiday, I'm a bit scared that somebody can steal them because that has happened to some of my friends. So these are just perfumes that are inexpensive, but really great. And you get a ton of wear out of them. First one is, I've got a tiny bottle, but I wanted to have a bottle of this one, but I couldn't justify <laughs> spending on a whole bottle of this. This is Dylan turquoise from Versace. I love the original. I've got a bottle, a huge bottle of that one. But this one, if I was to buy a Dylan perfume again, I would choose this particular flanker. It's so juicy and fresh and great, especially for the summertime. It's musky. It's extremely clean, but also just juicy, fresh. It's got jasmine, it's got some lovely citruses at the top. And to me, this smells like a luxurious shampoo in a perfume. It smells so good. Nobody can hate on it. And if you want just an easygoing everyday scent, this is the one that I would say is easy, it's affordable, it's amazing smelling, longevity projection is there. So I mean, why not? It's so good. Next up is another perfume that I adore and it's one of the classics. It's Izzy Miyake. I don't know how to say it properly. Let me know if you know how to say it properly. I say it just like Izzy Miyake L'Odyssee. This perfume is a cult classic. It has been around for ages and I really love how simple and fresh it is. It's one of the scents that is just super floral, but like watery floral. It's very clean. It smells to me like a perfume that wouldn't necessarily be something that people like here loved, but people in Asia love a lot because they often like I watch this one guy that reviews I know I'm crazy but reviews perfumes and he's a perfumer he's from Asia and the perfumes he recommends are completely different to the ones that we would recommend here and he always like recommends very nice natural light perfumes this to me is something that he would recommend it's so beautiful just really airy really beautiful white delicate flowers not like jasmine but those what are they called snow bells i don't know convalia in polish <laughs> i'll try to pop a picture here but it's a really unusual stunning perfume that you can wear every single day and to me it's one of the classics that every woman should own next up it's this one from jimmy Choo. oh i nearly <laughs> dropped it I'm so clumsy it doesn't have the name engraved on it so i can't even check but I'll pop it here and I also will link uh, the perfumes down my description. This perfume is to die for. For the price of it, it's a gem. Everybody will love it on you. Men will find it sexy. You'll love it. Your friends will want this perfume. It's projecting. It's long lasting. It's got lovely berry, like forest berry, sort of an opening. It's gourmand, but it's like a warm light gourmand scent a tiny bit chocolatey even it's just so delicious really sexy perfect for somebody who wants more of a gourmand scent sweeter scent or something to also go out like a bit vampy you know the other scents were fresh this is a bit more vampy a bit more sexy moody it's so good though the dna is totally there love this one from jimmy too i actually love it so much i gave it away to like a person uh, a shopping assistant at cause 
I I hope she likes it. I was just I had like a brand new one and I just gave it to her. So I was that sure that you know everybody loves it that I gave it away. So if you're looking for a present, then this is also an excellent present to give. <laughs> Next up is another cheapie that I adore and it's Crystal Noir by Versace. This is the Eau de Toilette. I adore the scent. My husband adores it as well. It's coconutty woody but soapy clean it's also vampy i would say it's even more vampy than jimmy Choo. this is a scent that does smell more niche than it is it smells designer it's quite an affordable perfume but man like when you wear it i bet people will ask you what you're wearing it's such an impressive loud but comforting and sexy vampy perfume really good one the eau de toilette I just prefer. You might go for the Eau de Parfum, whichever you can find. Cheapest, I would just go grab uh, it because they're pretty similar scent-wise and they're just gorgeous scents. Next perfume is one that I would say would complement the five perfumes you need. This perfume is fun. It's everyday, but for a fun mood, playful mood, and it is this one, it's Angel Nova. This is the Eau de Parfum. It does smell like Eau de Toilette though, because of this, its lightness. It's so just fun. It's strawberries and cream. It's got this angel sort of a sweet quality to it, but it's fun. It's really light and fluffy. And I would say if you're looking for something that is sweet, but also super playful, it is really it smells very youthful. I would say it smells more youthful than than I am, but I love wearing it, and I bet any of you would absolutely love wearing it because it's just so easy to wear. Everybody will love it. Uh, you just can't go with, wrong with this perfume. It's so so good. I'll link all of these down below, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. My personal best and this fragrance is incredibly a pain in the ass to open Witam na moim kanale dla Polaków Poczekaj, w kurde, no. Mosi tak śmierdzi, Mosi stop fighting. O fu... Dlatego! Masz też smile on it. O fu... And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.